Welcome to FTL. Welcome aboard. This about to get cray, if you know what I mean. Uh, FTL is one of my favorite games in the world. I would give it a 10 out of 10. They just released some advanced content implementing a new ship and a new race called the Linnaeus. They're like robots and they don't breathe oxygen. It's kind of weird. Uh, their rooms actually get sucked of oxygen. They destroy oxygen or make it carbon dioxide. I don't know. They're robots. Ask them. So you pick a ship. Basically, there's tons of different races. I just unlocked this stealth ship. I had some trouble finding weapons for it. Uh, got the slug ship. You know what? I like the stealth ship. It starts with the stealth cloaking, which is one of my favorite, uh, whatever you call them, things that a ship can get. <sighs> I think I'm going to go for it. I think I'm going to take you through on normal the first sector with the stealth ship. All right, so you are part of a Federation fleet. There's a rebellion. You have some vital data that the Federation officers need. You gotta get it there, and the rebels are hot on your tail, as you can see in this sector map. They're right behind you, and they'll start to appear as you dick around. I the, this means that I've got some scanners apparently on my ship. These long-range scanners are supreme. They show you if there's something, other ships. Uh, this means you know obviously a titanium. Every time I get hit, there's a 15% chance that my uh, what are they called? system doesn't take damage, even though the ship, the hull, will still take damage. I have my mini beam and my dual lasers. And my engines. Uh, this is my stealth, my oxygen. You have your engines, your security doors, your stealth, cloaking, uh, med bay. I've got sensors, weapons, oxygen, and pilot. Piloting. I have no shields. It's almost laughable. I have no shields. But I do have stealth, so I can cloak. Automated rebels. Ooh. All right, rebels. So you can hit spacebar to pause it, plan out your attack. First thing first, cloak. See, my weapons are charging. Oh God! Ugh, they're on me. They just hit my sensors. This beam droid drone is gonna be a pain in the ass. I need to take out their drones. I need to take out their shields. Oh god, this drone is on me! Mini beam, I need to take out the drones and their weapons, thank god. That's drones, by the way. Set your auto fire on. Okay, that was nasty as fuck. Get in there and repair the oxygen tanks. Just took some serious damage. Well, it wasn't that bad, I guess. So here's your haul. They really only did three damage, but they just whacked my systems pretty hard. Lasers. Take out their piloting so they can't escape. Their engines and their shields, I should put them down. They're mine. Booyah! Scout down. They gave me eight scrap, which is basically currency. Uh, you can also use it to repair your ship. Uh, a drone part and a couple, two pieces of fuel. The outpost is grateful. A couple of missiles and a drone part. Yeah, outpost, it was, uh, it was my pleasure. Realistically, I have to get this, upgrade my cloaking because See, it's five seconds or ten seconds. Over here it shows. Level one gives you five seconds of cloak time. Level two gives you ten seconds of cloak time. The ten seconds is good because it's just enough to let my weapons charge, and then I can hit their weapons. They're not able to charge their weapons. I guess it's more that the weapons are targeting. They're not able to charge because when I'm cloaked, so it buys me some time. This ship's fun, it's like a hunter. They start with sensors, so you know where the enemy ships are. What do we have here? 
The Dread Pilot Tuco. All right, Tuco. So at any time you can basically juggle your system power, drop your oxygen tanks, power up your engines, which I probably should have done last battle. High, high engines let you dodge. You have level three dodge right now and the 15% chance of dodge, I think. I want that to be higher. This cloaking ship is so fucking awesome. I played it through last time on Easy 8, the entire game through with this ship, and I could not find one weapon. I went to all the shops I found, and I didn't find one weapon that I could buy. It was really unnatural. They got their shields. Well, their shields, I didn't damage the system. I only knocked them out, but it's just enough to put their weapons down with this beam. Uh, now my stealth is resettling. Engines up. Damn it. There we go. Oh no! I timed that wrong. My mini beam can't penetrate those shields. Fuck. Brace! That's how you do it. Laser! Yeah, no shit. They want me to give me fuel and scrap? No, no, I don't accept that. Bullshit. Crap. They've taken out their engines. Put them down. I never liked pirates. It's kind of a gamble. Sometimes they offer a uh, surrender. They'll give you more than what you get when you destroy their ship. I need to get in here and fix this breach. This means that there's no oxygen in that room. There's a giant hole in the wall. Fix the hole breach, motherfucker. Powering up my med bay so my guys can regenerate. Conveniently, we've got these buttons here that they just added in the new content. Uh, return your crew to your safe positions and save your crew positions. It's awesome. So you don't have to click on each individual guy. I'm telling you, this new advanced FTL that they just put out, they gave everyone for free that owned the game, made me raise what I thought of this game from a 9 out of 10 to a 10 out of 10. It's not multiplayer, which my friend Bryce pointed out, so he would give it a 9. If it was multiplayer, it would be pretty spectacular. But for a one-player game, it's a 10 out of 10. The replay value is insurmountable. Shut down my engines, you son of a bitch. Kick the stealth on. Ooh, this ship is fucking stacked. Looks like I've got to hit their shields and then blast the laser. Cut through if I can. Their weapons and everything else. Weapons and drones. Hit them. Are you kidding me? I got them. One or the other. Taking out their drones. Yeah, do four systems. It's like only three systems, okay. That's how you do it. Oh, that laser feels so good. What are they prepping? Lasers, eh? Hold. Oh god! Open fire! Do it again! My engineer's busy. Fuck this. I don't think we need to actuate stealth yet. Boom, boom shakalaka. Put him down. That was nasty. My ship's taking a severe beating right now. <sighs> I need to get shields. Ships. Going to empty systems kind of sucks. Every time you, you warp from a system to a system. Alright. Every time you go to a system, it takes one fuel. I have 20. I'm doing okay recouping it, but... It sucks to jump into a system sometimes when there's nothing there. See, no ship was showing up on my long-range sensors, but... 
there was something here. More pirates. We have an NG. See, as you can see, my crew is all humans. It's one of the races in the game. These are NG. They're engineers. They're not very good at hand-to-hand -hand combat, but they're great at repairing stuff. And this is a rock. They have 150 health instead of 100 that most of the other races have, and they they are essentially impervious to fire. I think you can't destroy them with the bio beam either. Cloak! Targeting, sir. We're gonna hit their shields and then take out their weapons and... Actually, I could take out their weapons and shields. Let's do that. I want to get some sort of teleporting room so I can go in there and slay them. Yeah, this is going well. Get their piloting. Contact the civilians. Oh, they gave me a weapon. It's good you came when you did. We'd have been dead otherwise now. That's not what he said. We'd be dead now otherwise. It's good you came when you did. We'd be dead now otherwise. I'm a shipwright. And <laughs> I'm a shipwright. Thanks. I'm a space captain. And I'd like to help you like you helped me. Dude, that's badass. The chain ion. Drains and locks systems. See, it takes three power. I only have two, and they're charging my other weapons, so I need to really severely upgrade my weapons to use this, or I can sell it. But it, like, charges up and then fires ion blasts, which will take down shields. I'm gonna keep it. A distress beacon, eh? Wonder what the distress is. Could be a trap. Unknown disease. This is risky, but I'm gonna send in my crew. Wow. That was bad. A store. This could be everything I've ever dreamed. Greetings, traveler. Shields! Oh, they're so expensive. Sell that thing. My god, those shields. I have to fix my fucking haul. This is not even, I'm not even positioned to buy anything here. I need to get the fuck out of this sector is what I need to do. More pirates. Alright pirates, time to meet your maker. This mini beam is awesome. center of their ship. Brace for impact! Engines up! God damn! Our weapons are offline, sir. Fuck. Captain's like, fuck! The engineer, what's he gonna do? Fuck! Your weapons online ASAP! I was like, Jesus, get the weapons online. Oh, cloaking, man. Just when you thought... Just when you thought there was really an issue. He needs to get over there. Med Bay. They all need to get to Med Bay. So glad I let those fires, good lord, keeping their crew busy. I, I uncharged my med bay while they were trying to use it. Oh fuck. 
bandages up. Plat out. Our oxygen. Well, there is one way to put out a fire. That's open the doors. We gotta take this seriously. No time. With no oxygen, the fires go out. Mantis joined me. That's really awesome. Oh god, my oxygen. That guy's holding his breath. Oxygen on? I figure this guy can maybe run the sensors. I don't have a boarding. You can get teleporters, but I don't have them. Otherwise, this mantis would be on teleport deck, ready to jump. Save your positions. Oh, I really want to go explore, but if you get caught in this, you get jumped by the... Well, if you get caught in this, you get attacked by a rebel ship that's on your tail. If you get caught in this, you get attacked by a rebel ship and the rest of the fleet, in that there's this fleet all over the place and they're firing like towards you, like 3D kind of like forward at you and as it's getting bigger as it's coming towards you and they like rip holes in your ship. It's not really an option. So I am going to the exit of the sector. We are, I don't even read this stuff. I should probably read it. Well, looks like I can upgrade my crew. First thing I'll be doing is heading to the next sector. I think I'm gonna pick a civilian one. Well, thanks for coming through that first sector with me. It was hairy, but I think I'm doing okay. With all this scrap, I might be able to pick up some shields and make a serious move on the Rebel flagship. Subscribe to my videos because I'm gonna keep playing video games as I love it.